What's going on guys, Tony here, CCXRC, and on the bench we've got the Creality CR10. It's a large build volume 3D printer that I'm super excited about. This was sent to me by Gearbest to do a review on, uh, and I'm co basically comparing it to, I'm new to the 3D printing, so I'm comparing it to my Anit A8. And so far I'm blown away by this thing, because first of all, it's 90% completely built when you get it. Unlike the uh, six to eight hours it took me to build the Anit, this was ready in about 30 minutes. So, um, ready to print in under an hour. Just an amazing, amazing way that this comes shipped to you, all packaged up. And basically you're putting this top piece onto this bottom piece and tightening up a few screws and uh, making sure that your build plate is, uh, is tight enough to, uh, to drive like it's doing right here. I wanted to right away get into it and build something big and so I did this rocket ship. I'll put all the plans for these uh, different things in the uh, description below, uh, but this was a quick way to show the height that you can print. And this isn't even all the way, I could have gone higher, uh, but I was trying to get a few things done and um, I don't like them printing when I'm not home, so uh, just to be safe. So I limited this one down to about a four hour print based on what I was doing and where I had to be. And so I made it really thin, it's only 0.4 uh, outer shell, so it's very thin, it's the size of basically the, uh, the extruder, uh, so it's 0.4 millimeter. So it's very thin, very flexible, and um, not strong at all, because 0% infill. This was all about printing for speed. Uh, it actually did a really great job though, uh, putting it together. I made a few mistakes in the, uh, the setup of it, and I'll talk about that more on this guy here which I just finished printing this morning, this little octopus waving at you. And he's much more rigid. He's a 1.2 mil uh, shell, so he's, he's very, uh, very rigid. However, I, on the top and the bottom, I did a, uh, like a 0.6 or something very, very thin. And so at the top and at the bottom, it's a little bit thinner than I'd like. But that's my fault. Again, I was trying to work with the settings for this and trying to get times down to a minimum and so this was a nine hour print um, for this octopus but it is much more rigid uh, than this is. this is oops I think I just broke it actually uh, because it's so thin um, difference so that's the difference I also did some fidget spinners like this one here I did I think 20 percent infill and it's just a much thicker anyway, so it's a 1.2 as well. And I put some bearings in it. With this, I did have to go to like 1.05% or 1.1% um, of the size just to make it a little bit bigger for the bearings to fit in there because if you did it at 100% or one-to-one, -one, it wasn't big enough for the bearings to fit. So I printed two of these, but this is the, the final one. Um, so overall I printed a few things on here, very, very impressed with the detail that it gets with the prints. Even though I kicked up the print speeds um, and all of that to try and get these out, spit out a lot faster, uh, still very, very impressed. If I were to go uh, side by side and choose one of these to do most of my printing from with the N88, I would choose this one because I just, this one's so easy to use. So. Um, just very easy to level and it just the prints from the first one I've had no issues uh, right from the get-go leveling it getting some really nice lines on these and uh, yeah very very impressed for the price point it's more than the Anit A8 but this is a 300 by 300 by 400 build volume so very big uh, that's in millimeters 
Uh, very big space that you can print with this. This isn't even as high as you could go. I could have gone higher. Um, so I want to print masks on this. I want to print um, a whole bunch of different things. So uh, this is going to be my go-to just because of how easy it is to set up. Um, it seems very reliable. The electronics, everything, the wires all snap together very easily. They're labeled really well. I will say that the included instructions here are garbage. You need to use the ones that are on the included SD card. Uh, so you get some tools with this, you get the SD card, uh, but the problem is the SD card doesn't read on a Mac. So I had to take it to a PC to get the directions off it, and then I put them on Dropbox so I could get them on my Mac, which was a bit of a pain, but it was worth it. Again, coming in with something like this, with this size of uh, print volume, for under 400 bucks, about 370 bucks, um, is a really killer deal. So. Anyway, um, that's just a quick look at this. We'll be doing a lot more printing on it uh, here in the future. But I really, really like this printer, guys. And I can't wait to do more with it. So thanks for tuning in. As always, Tony here, CCXRC. We'll catch you next time.